morning, boys and girls. Do you know what it means to be salt and light? Today, we are still on the mountainside as Jesus continues his teaching. Stay tuned as we ask you to pass the salt, please. Our Father. Let's join our puppet friends as they share today's lesson on being salt and light. Hey kids, we're going to have a lot of fun today. Are you ready? Let's go! You are the salt of the earth. But if the salt loses its saltiness, how can it be made salty again? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled by men. You are the light of the world. A city on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand, 
and it gives light to everyone in the house. Mm -hmm. In the same way, let your light shine before men, that they may see your good mm -hmm. deeds and praise your Father in heaven. You are the salt of the earth. I am the salt of the earth. What are we cooking? We're not cooking. Then why am I the salt? Mom cooks with her salt in her food. Mmm, -hmm, boy. Jesus is talking about people being salty. Oh, so it's just people, huh? Don't VTMs get to be salt as well? Very talented mannequins. <laughs> VTMs? Dummies. I heard that! Look, Ricky, Jesus is just trying to remind everyone that if we follow him, then our lives would make a difference. Yeah. Salt was used in the ancient world to preserve food from spoiling. Now where did you learn that? I pinched a line from the script. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, if we're salt, we have to do what salt does. Spice things up by cooking. Like people. Otherwise, oh. what's the use? Salty faulty. Salty faulty. Throw Grind it away. Grind in the ground. Grind in the ground. Grind in the ground. You are the light of the world. I am the light of the world. Hmm. A city on a hill cannot be hidden. Unless, unless, unless it's re. Unless, unless, unless it's really dark and it's foggy and it's a dust storm uh, with locusts and the power's off and my eyes are shut. Jesus is talking about people's lives lighting up dark places. Unless, unless, unless you're catching mosquitoes or nope. it's a really big light and a tiny, tiny bowl. Oh. Light is meant to shine and be seen. Jesus oh, wants people to be so like that. We're to do things which will make a difference, even if it's not always easy. Not hide in a dark cupboard? No. Or a dark suitcase? Salt and... Light! For the whole world. Say goodbye, Ricky. Goodbye, Ricky. Lighten up! No, not that, not that way. <laughs> go, go, go. It's time to go. Let's go! Yeah! yeah. Let's go! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A family from our junior class will now bless us with a familiar song. Join in and sing along with us.
all the boys and girls celebrating their birthday this week, we want to shout out a happy birthday. We thank God for you and hope that you have lots of fun. Yeah. I heard it was somebody birthday. I heard it was somebody birthday. Yeah. PJ Penn a birthday song. Yeah. Yeah. Today is your birthday. We gon' say it loud. Today is your birthday. I know you're so proud. Today is your birthday. We gon' turn out. Congratulations to everyone who participated in last week's quiz. We hope you were able to share it with your friends. For this week's quiz challenge, read Matthew 5 verses 13 to 16. Click on the description below and answer. That's all the time we have for today. Don't forget to be the soul that adds flavor to those around you and a light will shine bright in the darkness. Make a difference. See you next week as we continue to explore Jesus' teachings. Bye! This life